Hey guys, and welcome back to Tokyo Mirage Sessions, and we're going to do another side mission, this time with Tiki. So, let's jump right in. We just finished up uh, Toma's first mission. He also has another one, so we can probably do that later. Ah, you came, big brother. There's someone I want you to check up on. Would you listen to my request? And it's called Al Tiki Tiki You For Reals. Alright, we're going to do the side mission for Tiki, so sure. Alright, let's go see what the mission's all about. Thanks, I can't go outside after all. <laughs> what? What? Um, the person I want you to go check up on is Tiki Ills My Waifu. <laughs> Their shortened name is Tiki equals Waifu. <laughs> what? <laughs> you got married? <laughs> No, that's just a username, like like a nickname, that's all. This person composes songs with the Ultaloid program, Tiki, and is ref uh, referred to online as a god. What the hell? That's amazing. Let's go check it out. But you know, it seems like they haven't been making any songs lately. I was looking forward to Tiki equals waifu songs too, so I'm worried that they suddenly stopped composing. Got it. So I need to go look for this waifu person. Yep. Thanks, big brother. I'm counting on you. Alright, hopefully we can find him. I've heard rumors that Tiki equals waifu uses a laptop with a Tiki sticker on it and composes at the same cafe every time. So there's one cafe in hmm, Tokyo, so we can go probably check that. A cafe, huh? Okay, I'll keep an eye out. So I'm gonna assume that it's in Shin Shibuya. So let's go see if we can find it. So we're just gonna jump out. And I assume that the place that we met up with Tsubasa is the cafe that this place composes. So maybe it's available there. Okay. So we got one from Tiki. Let's see if she has anything to say. The person using a laptop with Tiki sticker is Tiki Waifu. Tiki equals Waifu is usually at the cafe. And he has a worried emoji, so she doesn't actually tell us where. But I'm sure we can figure it out. Uh, it is at Central City. So if this doesn't have it, I think there is one in Harujuku. But uh, I'm not too certain. Let's see if we can actually find it. So we should spawn on the other side of the cafe. So we can go on to this side. The cafe is right over here. Uh, we can go through the other side. Go over here. So this is the entrance. Let's see if we can enter it. Maybe we'll find it or we'll get a nice snack. Who knows? Ah, here we go. A laptop with the Tiki sticker on it. Hmm, I don't see one. <laughs> the Ultaloid lover. Seriously, dude, I'm totally serious. They had to have been, or that had to have been Tiki equals waifu. Um, those people over there? Maybe we're just gonna go up there and strike a conversation. Oh, nope, we're just gonna be really weird and sit behind them. That's impossible, though. How can someone just disappear into thin air? Itsuki. Yeah, I heard. I saw it with my own eyes, man. Tiki's waifu was walking around the 106 all sleepy eyed. Then all of a sudden, poof, without a trace. I bet it's that spirited away thing. I love that movie. 
Yeah, yeah. All right, already. I wonder if Tiki Eagle's waifu retired. I was a big fan too. What do you think, Krom? I can't say for sure yet. However, the 106 being spirited away, those points concern me. Let's look into it. There is an idol sphere there, our idola sphere. So we gotta go into the 106 and the idola sphere. Alright, so we're sending a message to Tiki. Tiki, do you have a moment? Uh, did you find Tiki Eagle's waifu? No, but someone saw Tiki Eagle's waifu disappear near the 106. I don't, you don't think. Yeah, the Idola Sphere might be involved. I'm worried, so I'm going to check out the 106. I'll contact you if anything changes, so wait for me, okay? Oh. No, it's nothing. Be careful. And then a you can do it emoji. All right, looks like we're going into the 106 I Idola Sphere, which is right across the street over here god damn it move all right we're gonna walk right over here and walk all the way down here it's microwave how are you okay so the 106 is right over here just cross this street and we'll be there so let's see if there's anything we have to do I wonder what we have to do inside the Idola Sphere. Do we have to reach the end? I mean, we do have teleporters also, so where could that, where should we go? The end of it? The sub-boss area? All right, looks like that'll be all clarified here. How is it, Krom? Feel anything? It's faint, but I do sense a human's performa. What is that? What's wrong? I don't know, but I sense another presence too. A powerful one. What in... We better be on our guard then. Let's go, Krom. All right, so where do we have to go? So we have to, we have one from Tucker, uh, from Tiki. Big brother, it's weak, uh, but I sense Performa up above. I don't feel any presence of any mirages nearby, so you might be alone in a large area. Ugh. If only I could also, so where should we go? Uh, the third floor, I guess we can just check all the areas. So this is the first boss area, I think. Oh, no, 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 it's not. Okay. So we're going to go up to the sixth floor, which I think is the sub-boss. Or maybe the fourth floor is the sub-boss. I'm not sure, but we'll see. So this is the sixth floor. We want uh, the seventh floor. So I guess it's just at the top. I'm gonna assume it's the the seventh floor at the rooftop. So maybe. Let's see if anyone's up. It did say above, and this is the topmost area. All right, nothing here. That's a shame. Okay, so should we work our way down? That seems like a good idea. Or maybe look up. I think I think the sub boss area was the fourth floor. So we know it's not at the, the very top, which is good. So if we go to the third floor and then go to the door near it to the fourth floor, we should be able to get to that giant room that is for the sub-boss. 
Let's see if we can get to it. So this is the fourth floor. So we're just going to come outside and go up here and reach the fourth floor. Let's see if that's available. So this Aha! I was right. It was a sub box area. And who are you? Wait, this is Tiki Eagle's waifu? Oh, good. A person. But excuse me, but where am I? Uh, that laptop. Would you happen to be Tiki is my waifu? What? There's no way a person this attractive would be that person with that username. Yes, what about it? I didn't think you were a girl. There was the phrase my waifu in the name, so I just assumed. Kiki is still my waifu. My love transcends gender and dimensions. I can relate. Gotcha. So I heard a voice and it seemed like it was calling to me. And when I came to, I was in this weird place. Itsuki told her where the exit is. You can get to a safe place from here. A safe place? So you're saying where we are now isn't safe? Exactly. Ah, so this place was dangerous after all. I can guide there I can guide you there if you're nervous about going alone. That won't be necessary. I made it here, so it's only natural I can make it back. Words to live by. Right. Thank you for saving me, nameless kind person. I'll be taking off them. Itsuki, that was a hottie. How could you just let her walk away? She seemed like quite an eccentric girl. Crom? On our way here, I thought I sensed an odd presence. Maybe it was just my imagination. Alright, let's check out what uh, Tiki has to say after we tell her that we saved her. So I'd, or I've safely rescued Tiki Iga's waifu. Tiki? You there, Tiki? Uh oh. She's not responding. I wonder what's up with Tiki. I guess we should head back to the Bloom Palace and check up on her. Alright, so we're going to go back to the Bloom Palace. So we're just going to go down a floor, and then from there, we're going to go to the portal. Actually, yeah, it's not that bad. So we're just going to go down here. We do have an item that takes us straight to the Fortuna Palace, but we'll be okay. It's not that bad of a walk. So, we're going to go over here, load, come over to this thing, go to the exit. To the exit, we go to this exit, then we go outside, and then from there, we are outside now at the 106 in Shibuya. And then, oh, we actually haven't gotten to, there's one city in and one area in Tokyo we haven't gone to, which is Akihabara, which I'm super stoked about going to. But we have Harajuku, but we can go to the Fortuna offices. I'm sure it's somewhere in this game, the Ak Akiba. If not, I'd be fairly disappointed. Okay, so we also have something from uh, Toma. So, oh, by the way, Itsuki, we... Sh we should have totally head back to the Idolosphere if you've got the time. You know, get in a kick-ass training session, maybe make a montage. And here I go. So I guess that's like talk for the second side mission with Toma. 
All right, but let's go see what's happening to Tika. Tiki. She hasn't responded, and let's see if anything is the matter. Okay. Looks like she's just jamming out. No, that's not it. Uh, I'll I'll wait and see what happens. I want to see. Oh, she fighting? Is that Tai Chi? Nice, nice. It's not working. What? Big brother, this isn't. It's not what. This is. It's not what it looks like. <laughs> so she was just busy doing her own stuff? So what in the world were you doing? You promise not to not laugh? It depends on what it is. I won't. You promise, promise? Um, I was practicing on a carnage form. What would you do that for? I thought that if I could take a carnage form like everyone else, I could fight by your side and save Tiki Eagle's waifu too. You're doing everything you can here. It's fine. Listening to her songs cheered me up so much. I wanted to repay her somewhat, uh, somehow. You know, I want to fight alongside you guys. I want to be a real companion for you and the team. You are, we are companions already. Tiki, we're already companions though. Huh? <laughs> Don't act so surprised. There are some things that only I can do, but the same thing is true with you. I think true companions are those who can complement each other. You mean it? Am I really being useful for you and everyone else? Of course, you're fighting a battle for us here. It's fine that you don't take on a carnage form. I see, you're right. Okay, I'll keep doing my best at what only I can do. Job complete. There you have it. Tiki Tiki you for reals and we have a level up for Kiria. Tiki, Tiki has become troubled Ultaloid thanks to Itsuki's influence. That's not a good thing, but Tiki acquired a backup skill, idola underscore safety.exe. <laughs> Alright, what are backup skills? The cast that do not participate in battle support Itsuki and friends in the background with backup skills. These abilities affect the game's general mechanics, such as prices at which items can be sold or bought. You can obtain Miki's, or Maiko's, Tiki's, and Barry's backup skills by completing their respective side stories. Tiki's mysterious power now lets you explore the Idolosphere more safely. From now on, the effects of items and skills with field effects will last longer. Alright, and there we have it, guys. So that is Tiki's side mission. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. That's going to be it for this episode. I hope to see you in the next episode where we go and finish up with Maiko's side mission. So look forward to it. Hope you enjoyed it.